For organic nomenclature, we want to identify, number one, the longest continuous carbon chain. And then we want to identify the family. And then we want to identify branches that are off of this carbon chain. So for question five, the longest continuous carbon chain, right? Work our way right through here is our longest continuous carbon chain. I want to count this chain in a way that gets me to the first branch with the lowest number possible. And so if I count from the left, I see that I've got one, two, three. I've got my first branch off of the third carbon. So I want to continue counting from the left. So that would be four, carbon five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I have nine carbons, which is no nain, right? Because I'm in the alkane family, I only have carbon-carbon single bonds. After that, I want to identify the branches. So let's see, on the third carbon, I have a methyl group. On the fourth carbon, I have a methyl group. And on the sixth carbon, I also have an ethyl group. So putting that all together, I would have 6-ethyl-3-4-dimethyl-nonane. We put these in alphabetical order, so the ethyl comes before the methyl. The di does not play a role in alphabetizing uh, these branches off that main chain. But longest carbon chain is nine, it's an alkane family, and then our branches, I've got a methyl group on the third and the fourth carbon, and an ethyl group on the sixth carbon. For question six, it's the same thing. I wanna find the longest continuous carbon chain. So here's my longest continuous carbon chain. A few of you wanted to identify this as a T-butyl group. However, it's part of the longest continuous carbon chain. So therefore, that makes it not a T-butyl group. Rather, it's part of that longest carbon chain. So now I have the longest continuous carbon chain. I want to count this in a way that gets me to the first branch with the lowest number possible. And so if I count from the left, I get one two, three, four, five. And I'll run through this naming before I name the other direction. So I have a five carbon hydrocarbon, so that would be pentane. And on that five carbon hydrocarbon, I have a methyl group on the second carbon and the fourth carbon. So I would have two, two, four, trimethyl, Pentane. And so you may be asking yourself, well, what about if I counted this from the right? And so if we counted this from the right, we'd have one, two, three, four, and five. So we still get to the first branch with the number two. However, we want the lowest total numbers possible. And so if we had counted this from the right, we would have two, four, four, trimethyl, pentane. And we want the lowest total numbers possible. And so you can see counting from the left, we got 224, which is lower than 244 trimethyl pentane. So in this case, when counting from the left or the right, we find that we have a branch at the same carbon from both the left and the right. We want to go with the way that gets us the total lowest numbers possible. And so therefore counting from the left is the best because that gives us the lowest total numbers of 224 trimethylpentane.